Hello peeps, welcome to a plane with me video. It's been a minute. Um, I have to remember how to do this, <laughs> honestly. So I have my plum paper planner. I have had this planner just for 2022. I really actually like plum planner. Like I never thought I would like a, a printed planner as much as I love this one. This one was super customizable and honestly the entire experience of ordering it was really nice and just being able to customize as much as I did was super super nice and plus like I mean look at this cover I mean it's amazing and I believe with Plum Planner if you order their monthly design you get a discount because I think I ordered mine in October last year and so this was the October design and I got a discount on it so that was kind of cool uh, I plan on doing a full Plum Planner review video once I finish this one I really like it and <laughs> it's so kind of sad because I am just now getting into the groove of how I actually really like using this planner and I'm deciding to go back to bullet journaling in 2023 <laughs> so but I at least know I always have a backup in case um, bullet journaling doesn't really work out for me anymore so that is what this video will be it will be me planning out November 2022 and there's really not a whole lot to plan in mine. Um, I don't have a lot of quote unquote collections and even if I had some I don't really have a lot of space to put them. That's the one thing I kind of regret about my planner this year is because I, I put I think an extra few pages of dotted sheets in there but I feel like I don't know for some reason I just I don't use them and I don't know why it just feels weird <laughs> in a printed planner to have those so I just I use it for maybe a a monthly money date but other than that I don't really use it. I will be going in and planning out November and a big reason I haven't really done another plan with me with this planner was because I just I felt like there wasn't enough substance to actually do a plan with me but I've had so many people asking me to do one with the plum planner and I get a lot of questions about it so um not sponsored I literally bought this with my own money they don't even know I exist but um yeah I really really enjoy this planner it's a very good option it is a little bit pricey but I think compared to other customizable planner things it's pretty decently priced in my opinion I 100% think this is worth the money and that's all I'll say for now because I'll want to put all that in my review video for later. But I will show you what my current week looks like. So for the most part, this is what my weeks look like. Also, I apologize for any like squeaking you might hear. <laughs> I got, I'm using Travis's old chair and it is on its last leg, <laughs> but it's very creaky. But yes, yeah, so this is my current week. This is about usually how I have it set up. Um, I can do a quick October flip through. Uh, I don't use a lot of the beginning stuff, but for the most part, this is what my monthly looks like in each of my months. Uh, I have all of my bills, all of our bills on here. I have any holidays, events that are happening, anything like that. All of these yellow marks are the days that I consider my days off. Since I have the opportunity to stay home and do art stuff and Patreon, I have allotted myself certain days off and they're usually Mondays and Tuesdays because that's also when Travis is off. And obviously, if I decided to take Thursday off, I can just, you know, it's flexible. But that's usually what I try to do is have it um, on Mondays and Tuesdays. So, pretty self-explanatory. I just use Tombos. So, I just have blue for events. Yellow is important slash days off, orange is birthdays, pink is holidays, and green is bills. So it's pretty simple. I When I was going into this planner, I really didn't want anything super duper complicated. <laughs> so that's what I went with. And yeah, for the most part, my weeklies look dang near the same <laughs> every week. So, pretty cookie cutter, honestly. Uh, I actually really liked how this one turned out too, but, but yeah. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys into time-lapse mode, and you guys will see me um, go through November. Here we go.
you can see, I have a few busy weekends I didn't <laughs> think about. And I cannot believe Thanksgiving's right around the corner. That's kind of crazy. Start stocking up now. Like, buy stuff now. So that way you're not scrambling right before Thanksgiving. Pro tip. Uh, shelf cook, stock up, you know, all the good junk. But I have a couple exciting things. Um, I was asked to do a cheese board for one of my mom's events with some of her girlfriends. Um, I get to go meet Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Um, so I get to go meet her. She's my auto by author. She's one of my favorite authors, if not my most favorite author. And oh my god, I'm so excited. I never thought I would be able to meet her. So that's happening in November. Um, some of my uh, friends that I met actually through through my friend Casey and their wedding is that weekend as well. Uh, Travis and I ended up getting a hotel room so that'll be a nice little escape. Um, and then yeah, just Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and then, you know, getting mugged by bills. The usual thing. So, now that I have this figured out, I am now going to go ahead and go through um, the first week because I, I hate when planners do this. I hate when they do this, where it's just one day and then the rest is just grayed out, kind of. But then you go to actually like November and it's basically a repeat of that same, of that same thing. Like I, I don't know what I would expect or how I would expect them to fix that, but it just bugs me. Does that bug anybody else? Like, I honestly, you could have probably put the 31st with the 30th and it would have been fine. Like, <laughs> probably would have been fine. But, who knows? Like, I, there's a reason I don't design planners, alright? Like, anyways, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling out the week. product of the week so far. It'll end up looking more obviously filled in after, you know, after the pen with like to-do lists and stuff. I've noticed that Thursdays seem to be my most productive day of when I get stuff done, so that is why I specifically <laughs> put this to-do sticker here. Um, usually even throughout the week, I might add some more stickers and stuff, but for the most part, that's what's happened the last few weeks, so I'm just committing, basically, and just going for it. Um, usually, so Spencer and Travis have the same job, and they have the same hours for the most part whenever Spencer does work, because Spencer's only part-time. So he, they are both gone Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so usually down here... I would put like voiceover slash podcast work because that's just when I feel most comfortable doing this kind of stuff. So it's actually Thursday night right now. It's like midnight. <laughs> but I have been actively learning Swedish, <laughs> Svenska, the last um, last week or so. So I just finally committed to putting it in my planner. Usually what happens is I put it in my planner and then I end up saying no because my... <laughs> my planner is telling me to do it because the last week I have not had anything in my planner that even says Swedish and I've done it every day so I just have a feeling that now that it's in my planner I'm my brain's gonna be like no because it's telling me to do it <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen um and actually for my monthly reset I actually have one more thing I'm gonna do that I'm gonna share on camera here so I'll go ahead and move this real quick Okay, so the next thing that I usually do is my budget envelope. So this is a system that I have taken from Jordan Page. I don't want to say taken. 
I use <laughs> that Jordan Page has invented. Is invented the right word? Probably because she's the best at literally everything. So Travis is more on the investing side where I am more on the grocery side. So we each have a set amount with those budgets and those are the ones that we are in charge of. So not that he doesn't have any say in the grocery stuff and not that I don't have any say in the investment stuff, but um, we are like the head people on those things, if that makes sense. So this is just an example of my October, saved it, <laughs> um, of my October thing. And then on the inside are all of our receipts. So we will have all of our receipts for every month. I have my September one locked away. So, and basically I just go through, we have our budget and then my, this other is just our free money. So this is like our fun money that we have. And I've done pretty dang good this month. I'm gonna have a lot left over, which is good because I have lots of things I wanna save up for. And uh, so yeah, we actually did pretty good this month. Um, only went over one of those weeks, so that's really nice. And so yeah, so this is just the same thing I'm gonna be doing for November. I just need different dates on the side. And funny enough, whenever I was making my October one, I realized I had actually put these dates for my September one as well and never, didn't even realize until I was like, hmm, these October dates look familiar. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set up my November envelope. As you can see, November is all ready to go for the month. October is all marked up for the most part. Um, we just have to go grocery shopping tomorrow and then I'll do this little box and then this will be ready to be sealed up and put away. And yeah, so basically this is just our weekly budget for grocery and then this is my weekly budget for like my fun money. Um, and Travis has the same amount. We, we have allotted a certain amount toward everything and we each keep track of it and it's super easy. This is honestly, this is what got me out of the rut I was in when I first moved out. I was in the red when I first moved out for the first six months and this envelope system is what honestly saved me. So going back to it has been so like, not only nostalgic, but also just like so helpful because it's so nice to have like a visual of what has come out every week and just knowing like the next week, oh, hey, we have another $40 or oh, hey, next week I have another 25 I can spend on that thing I want kind of thing. So that is the system that we are now using and we're still kind of getting the hang of it. We started kind of like almost into this week so we were kind of like we have a September one and but we were only did it for like the last week or so so we're we're fairly new to it starting up as a couple doing this because I did it by myself so um us doing it as a couple and keeping track of everything is it's taking a little bit of getting used to but we for the most part like we have it down pat now so we're good um so yeah that is my monthly reset for the most part that I can think of that I do, I wanted to try and do a whole monthly reset kind of thing here. 
but really it's just my planner and then my envelope and that's basically all it is anymore. I have seriously like simplified my system that I think whenever I get back to bullet journaling, my bullet journal is going to look probably a bit different compared to my past bullet journal. So hopefully we will see how that goes. But yes, I have everything all planned out for November and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know whenever I upload. And I now have a Patreon, so if you want to support me on there as as low as $3 a month, um, you get some really cool phone wallpapers, and you can get an art download every month if you go for the MVP one. We do live streams, and I have a podcast over on Patreon that's only on Patreon, so... If you want to follow me over on there, it's more of like an artsy Patreon, so it's a little bit different than here, but it's very fun. I have had a blast doing it, so if you want to support me a little bit more over there, the link is in the description, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!